Okay, well that was the worst timing possible. We got the call that the plane was coming. We got everything ready. We saw the plane. The plane was like right there coming in hot. And then this storm kicks up and the plane leaves. We are soaked. You can hear the thunder. Everything, uh, everything we have is put away. We have no shelter and the plane left. The plane is gone because it couldn't fly in the storm. So now, what? This is day nine, morning of day nine. Hello, how are you doing? and smelt some smoke. Part of the forest is burning right now. You can really see it. Smoke stacks. This is unreal. It's like a dream. Full ramming speed ahead. Oh man, way less visibility here. I can't say I'm not a little concerned if I'm being honest. What would you do? What would you do if you're out here? No life line out. All flights are grounded. Well, what would you do? We're going to pick the winners of the time pain mugs. There you go. We're going to pick the winners of the titanium mugs right now. Stop. Aaron Althusian. I'm in. Thanks for the awesome videos and wish you well in regards to your health issues. I always look forward to your new video release. Okay, Aaron Althusian was the first winner and he didn't specify what mug he wanted. So we'll see what the next person says. Hold on, let me get down far. Okay, and whenever you want, oh sorry, hold on. Whenever you want, you can say stop. Stop. Okay, Ghost Recon 642. Been a subscriber for a long time. Really enjoyed your work. Keep up the great videos. Okay. Alan Althusian and Ghost Recon 642 are the winners. Neither specified what pot they wanted, so I'll pick one for each and I'll get them sent out soon. But in order to do that, you guys are going to have to email me or get a hold of me so I get your email, or sorry, so I get your mailing address, okay? So get a hold of me, guys, the winners. And congratulations. Say congratulations, winners. Congratulations, winners. Good job. On to the video. Good morning. It's day five. I've already been up and had breakfast and done the whole deal. Not doing too good today. Problems, so. I feel good otherwise, it's just my normal normal issue. Showing its face out here, which really sucks because for the first few days, day four days, I was pretty good. It's depressing. Anyway, <clears throat> up and at them. We're going north today, out of this lake, so. Excited to see what the day will bring. Kind of worried, but uh, yeah, we're out here for day five, six, seven nights. So three more nights and then half a day eight. See, this is the thing. If I had a normal job, if I had a normal nine to five and I didn't go camping, then I could deal with it, but I don't. You know what I mean? I could get up in the morning, I could have my shower, lay around, fix myself up, and then go to work and come home and everything be fine. But that's not the case. I camp. I want to camp. 
and I have to be able to camp for more than one night at a time. It's just, so I'm going to have to go have that procedure. It's just not even an option. So when I get back from this uh, in about two weeks, I'm going. I'm not going to cancel it. I'm not going to postpone it. I'm going. And, uh, yep, this has really solidified it in my mind. Even though uh, I've been four days good, it, it shows its face out of nowhere. I haven't been drinking alcohol or anything like that. Like, no, no reason. I'm eating good. I'm eating home-cooked, rehydrated meals and oatmeal and, like, fresh fish. The freshest fish going. Like, there's nothing that I'm doing. It's nothing that I'm doing. And it's just... Here I am. Anyway, everything's going to be fine. I'll be all right. Just going to suck for a little bit today. But that's okay. Taking a risk coming here. Like I said, I knew that. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe now I know I can't postpone it. I can't put it off. So trying to see the bright side here. Learning lessons. Being Joe. So we were camped out right here. We went down in Fishies Falls last night. We're gonna go up here, do some trolling. Head up here, we got a 60, a 150, and then we're on this little part, a 90, and then we're on to Glen. So we'll see how long that takes. Uh, if that doesn't take too terribly long, if we keep going up on Glen, I'm pretty sure the next lake we hit. Hanson comes out the bottom so we could spend our night on Hanson. Just pick the graphs there. Yeah, over here at this portage. Cool. Well, you heard it. We'll head off. Maybe today we'll see some pictographs. If not, tomorrow we will. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's too big of a crazy day today, which is good. All right, Carl's in the water already. Time to get the boat in. This, uh, it's not brand new anymore. Not brand new. You can see a couple little. Just a couple little scratches here and there, but she's all right. I guess I can stop babying it now. <laughs> Just gonna troll across this lake. Kyle's up there. <clears throat> we'll make our way over to where we need to be, but I don't believe there's any rush today. That's a good thing, because I'm moving a little slow. mighty shallow in here. We paddled across, we're at this pretty little rapids. Kyle's gone back to the camp because he forgot his yoke there. So we gotta do another like 20 minute paddle until he's back. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna fish and uh, just kind of chill out here. I honestly don't even mind. It's, it's Sitting here for 20 minutes is a, is a welcome relief. It's hot, she's hot. Day five. pretty shallow. Uh, fishing's not working out, but that's okay. Kyle should be back soon. This is extremely pretty in here. Birds singing, bugs chirping. 
waterfall in the background. No Kyle to listen to. <laughs> Very pretty in here. Just being here makes me always think like I want to show Emerald this stuff, you know? I gotta get better. I gotta get fixed so that I can come out here worry free. Well, that, that worry free. <laughs> I'm doing okay now. It's, it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's just, it hurts a lot. And it's just like it plays with my mind so much, man. I gotta, I have to get better. So that I can bring my wife places like this, my daughter places like this, and Autumn, my second daughter, places like this when she's a little bit older. Like imagine coming back here in like September. Like there's no bugs as it is. There's just minuscule biting insects. The, the, the forest is alive with bugs, but the biting ones are, are very, very few and far between right now. July, whatever, I don't know, 5th, 6th. Um, imagine coming back in September or, or even late August. It's gonna be beautiful weather, not so hot, even fewer biting bugs. And like, it's accessible. It's very accessible. The same route that we're doing now, I don't know if I could do that with my daughter, but I could do it with my wife. We could get dropped off in a certain lake and stay there, just paddle around for a few days, you know what I mean? Not even have to move camps too much. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting for Kyle still. I thought I'd go over a couple pieces of gear that I've really enjoyed using. Good to me this trip. It's my Hidden Woodsman Center Zip pouch. It's very bright, easy to see. Got a handle on it, I can hang it, grab it easy. It swallows gear. Um, it's made out of a lighter material than he normally uses. Maybe it's 500 cordura or denier or whatever it is instead of a thousand. I'm not sure, but it's it's not too bulky or stiff. And then my good old trusty mech slog bag. You guys have seen me use this thing for years. Um, bought it. I have no idea before a trip with Mike or maybe after my tomogamy trip. So 2016-17, three years going strong. It used to be orange, almost the color of that, or red. Now it's like a salmon color, a pink salmon color. But uh, yeah, good, good piece of kit. It's never let me down. It's starting to break um, here. Well, it broke here. It's starting to rip here. But again, lots of abuse. And I think the airline did that, not even me on a trip. Um, the airlines are pretty rough with stuff. But it's a Slog Deluxe from Mech Mountain Equipment Co-op in Canada, similar to REI. The old Swift Cruiser is doing well. I like it. It's very, um, it's just as stable as my other one. You can stand up in it. I'm not sure if I got any footage, but I was pulling, standing up in it through that mud and paddling. Um, I can, I feel very secure in it. So it's good a little bit longer. It's quick. It's a nimble boat. Uh, the Kevlar, or sorry, the carbon's holding up fine. Kind of acting like the Kevlar Fusion. Pretty happy with it. Very happy with it. It's going to get taken away by the wind. I might have to go back and check on Kyle soon. It's been quite a while. He should have been able to paddle there and back by now. So, uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Tie my boat up and go hike up and see if I can see him. I have picked more ticks off of me this trip than ever before. Good thing is they've never been embedded, even it seems like after a while, and they're not the bad kind. So it's really okay. It just kind of sucks, it's kind of gross. But I assume um, there's ticks here because when the burns come, the grasses take over and they like that area. I don't know, I never thought they'd be this far north.
can't see them. I'm in this little bay. I gotta tuck around that rock. I forgot how far it was. Oh. We'll do it. There he is. <laughs> At least he's in high spirits. Hey, buddy. Oh, just hike back here to see if you're alive. I just decided that it would be fun to do an extra 40 minutes of paddling today. No problem. Yeah. At least you're in good spirits singing about the Baguan. Yeah, I am. You want to continue? Yeah, let's go back to Kenya. All right. Have you, have you portaged all my gear and set up lunch and everything? Yep. Perfect. That was really stupid. I would highly suggest anyone who has a yoke do not make it out of brown wood and green fabric. Hmm. Or maybe just, you know... Make sure you have all your stuff before well, you leave. If it was like bright orange, I would have seen it and remembered it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's never my fault. I no, that's it. yeah, that's not, that's apparent. When you're when you are this good, you know it can't be my fault. <laughs> right? Okay, well I guess I'll hike back through all that nasty stuff now to just wait for you there. Is it bad? No, it's fine. It's totally fine. Do <laughs> you eat fish? Nope, it's uh, pretty shallow, but I saw a spinner stuck to a log underneath, and I'm wondering if it's uh, avid outdoors guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's gonna watch this. I would I would have messaged him after. That's funny. Did he do the same route? Did he do the same route? I don't know. I think so, and then he switched off to the Gammon River system or something. That's what uh, those guys were saying. Oh okay. Well, you want to keep singing or? No, I'm good. I'm gonna just, just... Yep. Go All right then. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Can't stop the bag one. <laughs> I was so happy to hear you singing. For no reason at all, for absolutely no reason at all. Huh? I'm, not, I'm not even going to attempt that because I know I'll snap it right through there. One. Pardon? It's got a walleye by its fin. Strange. Yeah, it's like little side dorsally fin. Stopped here for lunch. Nice, pretty spot. The old food bag is getting much lighter and smaller. We're down to a little less than half, maybe. A little half. I'm just figuring out what we're going to do for the so rest of the day. We go up here, we get into Glen, and then I think from Glen into the next one, it's a 60, 300, and then like a back to back 350. So a bunch of simple stuff. That's into Glen? We're into... That's in the Hanson, I think. Okay, from Glen. Yep. And there's pictographs in Hanson. Mm, correct. 
Okay, well, let's start heading that way. Let's and start paddling, I guess. Feel how we feel when we get there. It's a good thing about this place. Just go at your own pace, do what you want. All right. Such a pretty lake, man. Nice rock, good forest. Kyle just caught a walleye. Beauty. No name lake number three. Yep, float plane up there. Picking someone else up or dropping someone else off. Pretty cool. far removed from that. <laughs> Okay, Kyle just hooked into one. I don't know what it is because I left them uh, to keep trolling. And then I just hooked into one. So we'll see. I don't know what if he's got a pike or a walleye on and I don't know if I have a pike or a walleye on. We're both hoping for walleye so we have a nice shore launch here. But we shall see in a moment. Oh, he wants to go still. Oh, that's a big old pike. That's a big old dirty pike. Wow. That's a big fish. Oh, it's a big pike. Biggest fish of the trip. By far, biggest fish of the trip. Not a, not a, not a, uh, not a question. Okay, I got to deal with this guy. Wow. Wow. Kyle! I got a monster! He just keeps running. He's just running and running. I think I'm going to go to shore to land him. He's a monster. Wow, I wish Kyle was here to take my picture. <laughs> this is the biggest fish. Biggest fish of the tr trip, bar none. Oh my goodness. It's just running, oh, he's just running, just running again. Oh my goodness, this is a fight. Oh, he's a big boy. in his lip too, nice and easy. Nice. You want my pliers? Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna uh, see it. try to get him next to it. There you go, man. Holy cow. It's like a Dude. 
There we go. Yeah, baby. Nice, Joe. Nice. Hey, look at that. Good. Look at that thing. That's a nice pipe. Dude. He's going back in the water right now. That thing is huge. Yeah, that's a big fish. Uh, here, let me move up. Here, hold on, Kyle. <laughs> it's already filming? Yeah. Yeah. It's already filming. Got it. Dude. Yes. Okay, we're gonna put him back. I think he's a beast. He is a beast. I'm gonna cap out of my boat here. I'm gonna wait till he until he recovers here. Come on, big guy, you got this. I only got him in the lip, so he should be fine. It was a fight, it was a long, good fight. Come on, big boy, you got this. Come on, man. You got this. I don't want to be right here. He's fine, he's fine. Come on. Go, buddy, go. You're good, you're good. There he goes. Nice. Swim away, monster. Swim away. Uh, well, Joe's a happy boy. Yeah, hey, and guess what else we got? You have walleye? Oh, uh, good. Oh, that's a monster, dude. Good job. We got lunch. We got lunches, right? Hell yeah. Well. Let's eat some food, Joe. I'm really hungry. Enough of this paddling and fishing stuff. I'm, it's feeding time. So we're here at this uh, beach. There's not much to it, just this little strip of sand that you can see. It's not a campsite or anything, but it's really pretty. There's some wild roses back in there. We're gonna have a shore lunch, a proper, proper shore lunch. You all right? Do it up proper, eh? Cheerio. <laughs> That's what every British person says. All right, uh, you want to show the folks your, your walleye? You get a picture yeah, of walleye? let's do that. All right, we're going to cook this walleye on the beach. Cooking walleye on the beach. Something, something, Kid Rock speech. Here we go. Hello. There's lunch. That's it. The perfect size walleye cow cut for the two of us for the next shore lunch. You're welcome, Joe. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so some of these have got to be flipped. Oh yeah, buddy. Mm. We're up into Glen Lake now. It's a really pretty lake. The sky is pretty dynamic. It's not a burned lake and it looks really nice to stay at. So I think we are going to stay here. It's almost one in the afternoon. The plan is to just catch a couple walleye in the lake and go to shore, go find a campsite and make lunch. Sounds like a good plan to me. Well, lunch was good. Just paddling across Glen Lake. Oh, I lost them. I lost them. I had a big old fish on. I had a big old fish on. Anyway, we're going to uh, paddle across the lake and um, get the first campsite and go swimming. I'll see you there. We got the walleye about the size we had for lunch. Yeah, we cut a decent walleye. What do I have though? 
What do I have? I don't even know if this is Lake Trout Lake. That'd be a surprise, eh? Pulling out a lake. Oh! Oh! Oh, running! Running! Oh, it's a pike, I imagine. Oh my goodness, it's going. What are you? What are you? It's strong, whatever it is. Oh my goodness! Nice walleye. The biggest walleye I've caught this trip. What? Biggest walleye I've caught this trip. Nice. Nice fish. Back he goes. Okay. That was a good fight. That was a really good fight. This lake, is, Glen Lake is stocked full of big old walleye. Okay. And this area is hot. Kyle just got another one and so did I. And this is like probably bigger than the last one I got. Good camp. Yeah, camp close to here. Keep catching walleye. No probs. Nice. Another decent walleye. Peace, bro. Will you go away? So you can see here the sunburn lines. <laughs> Got my hands around the paddle like this. I've been putting sunscreen on a lot. It doesn't matter, just rubs away. Get a little bit better tan. Just on the hands. <laughs> yeah, the rest of you is pretty pale. Hand tan. <laughs> like working, like at work, with people and like showing them stuff. They're like, "What's wrong with your hands?" Oh, it's my hand tan. Yeah. Oh god, fully clothed today. <laughs> I'm sure, the people appreciate that. Yeah. Well, we're at camp, as you can see. There's a lot of life right here. There is. We have a lot of flies. Very few mosquitoes. The mosquitoes come out like, what do you think? Like right after sunset? Yeah. And then in the mor like in the middle of the night when I'm peeing, like getting out to pee and stuff, my tank fills up with them. Yes. In the morning a bit, but it, like as soon as we're eating breakfast, it seems like they're gone. They're gone. So I uh, unbelievably nice. But yeah, lots of lots of flies here and ants. Yeah, the ants are cool. I I can't explain it, but it's like the ground is alive with ants. Oh, well, we caught some fish today. So I caught the biggest walleye that I've caught on this trip in this lake, two or three of them, uh, right actually over there, away from our campsite on the way over. Um, Kyle was slamming big walleye in here too. Was this the lake I got that crazy pike? Yeah, yeah, same one. So. <laughs> it's like three hours ago, man. You forgetting already? What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> we have been a little loopy these past couple days. But that's to be expected when you're out here and just frying in the sun. Yeah, we're sun. getting baked alive right now. <laughs> we put, we've been putting the tarp up for the, the shade, and it helps a lot. Big time. We had, oh, we went for a nice swim when we got here. Yep. Very refreshing. Washed all of myself and my hair and my boxers and shark fin. Th that's the only reason I'm sitting, sitting so close to you. Your face is still a little dirty. It doesn't come off. Oh, don't scratch it again. Okay. Don't scratch it okay. again. But uh, today was an early camp day. We were, we got to camp at what, like 
something like that. Something like that. And we were slam. No, it was got to be about three because we were getting those good wall arrow two two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. So if we we were getting really good uh, walleye at two, tonight should be amazing. I'm hoping we go right off that kind of rocky island spot where we were going and just get them again. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've been super fortunate with the fish, I feel like. Not sure if there's lake trout in this lake either, but it seems like there's probably not, considering the size of the walleye and the pike. I really don't know if that has a correlation to do with it. Somebody probably knows. We're on Glen. Glen. Yes. We're on Glen Lake. Beautiful lake, probably the favorite. I think the consensus is this is our favorite lake. It seems like for fishing, I mean, we had two double headers back to back. Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean, how often does that go, oh, I got a big pike, oh, I got a big walleye, you know, back and forth. That was awesome. Yeah, at the same time, twice. That's crazy. Of course, it's always windy and we can't hear each other, so we're always just like screaming yet not really sure what the other one's doing. <laughs> I think Kyle's got a pike. Yeah, that's funny. It's, in the last day and a half, it's become kind of overcast with these, like, I call these, like, Super Mario clouds. You know, like the little puffy, like, mm -hmm. quintessential clouds. Mm -hmm. It makes for a dramatic sky. I like it. It does. It's really cool. And it's and, not full sun. And some shade occasionally, yeah. yeah. I had to wrap my hands, as you saw. Um, I'm scared to touch the walleye now. I, I've started to grab them on the belly instead of on the top, so I was... We were both were putting our hand down and sliding it back and mm -hmm. grabbing in, in the middle or whatever. So the top fin's not getting us, but we've noticed that on on the, what the heck, near uh, the gills. Near the gills, they have these, like, one little, like, barb. The points, and we have barbs on either side. Right where you would be grabbing it, I have cuts. And they the, the walleye seem to have some kind of, like, inf it's stuff. It's something's bad. It's worse than the spikes, because I got one stuck in the end of this finger, and it's still, like, I touch it. it uncomfortable yeah it leaves something with you like an infection for mm -hmm. sure but anyway i got got all bandaged up making fun of kyle with his with his gloves but it's probably a good idea yeah i if i do if i do if i one gear thing i would do different in this trip is one to get rid of this stupid sunburn i have is i would have done sun gloves to grab them and then on a big fish i would have wanted like an actual fish glove my problem is i'm getting a fish in i'm trying to like move my camera hit record you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep tension. I'm not. It's I, hard to do I don't want to put a glove on it. Like there's so much everything. going on. If I wasn't filming, maybe. But and then and then even using the the the, I have one hand. I need, still need to work to work the camera right and use lose dexterity with the, the glove. But anyway, I only put on my. I I only put. I've only been putting on my left, and then you just hit the button with your right. But right, but you still have to it, keep. It's hard. I know. I I don't. Uh, I wait till they get right beside the boat and they kind of calm down. I've been letting them run now too and, and tire themselves out a lot more than just trying to get them in the boat. At first, I was all excited to get them in the boat. Yeah, again. no, I don't do that. That's how I got my leg. This whole. That's why this pant leg has you know seven new holes in it or something. But anyways, and I knew all this stuff before too. It was just remembering it and coming out here and experiencing it again. Remember, my hands got beat up twice now that, that I've been out here. It's the third time. But anyway, um, yeah, not much to do. We still have to set up our tents. Oh, what I would do to gear differently is I would bring a lightweight hammock, especially mm. for this trip. We have been getting to camp early enough. Like normally if you watch our past stuff or my stuff with Doug, 90% of my canoe trips, getting rolling into camp at like 7.30, 8, you know what I mean? After busting your butt all day long, you don't really need a hammock, but we're getting to camp at like Sometimes two, sometimes five, six, you know what I mean? Early enough, and it's light out, and we've been staying awake <laughs> until like 11 every night. Yep. So right now, there's a forest full of trees that are just in shade waiting to be hung in with a hammock. It'd be an easy rest for my back. It'd be nice. It's cool, the breeze. Like, uh, Anyways, a very lightweight hammock, which I do have. I just didn't bring. Uh, that would be one of the things I would change for sure. Other than that, most of the gear is pretty good, I think. Yeah, I'm happy with everything else. That Bush Buddy stove is a lifesaver again. Awesome. We just pulled up to that that sandy beach and had had lunch instead of having to make a big fire and wait for coals or cook on the big flames of a big of a fire. Too uh, much work. And also, it's daytime and, and it's dry as a fart here. You can't. It's not safe or smart no. to be doing that. Yesterday when we had that other camp, we doused that um, that one fire pit that we that we used because it wasn't on a rock even though i lined it with rocks like you saw it was all around it was like this like just it's so sketchy over here everything's so dry you could literally pick up a stick and lay it on fire no problem that's a part of the reason the forest fires are so prevalent here just very dry it's like an air it's like a prairie 
It is. It's like a shallow soiled prairie. <laughs> That's why the bugs hurt so bad. Mm, is that why? There's no soil. We need to definitely move the uh, fire pit there. That's. Oh, let's check. I'll show you guys this fire pit. So what Kyle's saying is to move the fire pit from, from where it is to right here on top of this rock. And that's a good idea because this rock is big enough. But look, let's go take a little gander at the old fire pit. Slowly and gingerly. Look at this. This has not been used in some time. All grown up around it. Not safe at all. So, instead of... It means two things. Either uh, no one ever comes here and fishes, or like right around the corner is the world's most epic site, and they never come to this one. That's probably more likely, considering it's epic fishing. <laughs> but, anyway, we're allowed to move the fire pit. We're allowed to even make our own campsites if we want. So, boom, it's going there. We could sit there. Kyle has geniusly rigged up this tarp once again. I'm I have a tarp sherpa this time, which is nice. Hold on, the tarp sherpa. We have wood. GoPro on the charger. Got a 85 mil lens there. Some batteries and stuff. A water bottle and a cliff bar wrapper. Look at that. I set up the tent. I'll probably go right here where my bag is. It's the flattest. Look at this moss in here though, eh? Beautiful. It's a beauty. It really is. Oh, you got your tent top, bud. Yeah, I do. A nice pitch here. Oh, a taut pitch. Taut, nice pitch. <laughs> That's pretty. Really? Looks like it. Looks like it's made for something. It look, looks like really Sweden-y, right? Uh -huh. Swedish, even. Yes. Sweden. No, you're right. Sweden-y. 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 I'm Sweden -y really even. getting tired of the horse flies. You can around my head. I think that's just you, man. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> So even though we're in the boreal forest, there's still deciduous plants. We've got alder here. You can tell because it's got these little nut things and catkins. Catkins are long gone by now. But alder, we've got what I believe to be salix, some type of willow. You see the, the branch, sorry, the twig really looks like it and the leaves. The leaves really look like willow too. What else did I see? Oh yes, yellow birch I believe. Maybe white birch. Probably white birch. To the best of my, my knowledge anyways. So, salix, no idea, and petula peperifera. No idea being the alder. I don't remember the name. The scientific name. 
alder. But otherwise, you're seeing black spruce, maybe even white spruce in here, which would be a surprise, uh, and jack pine. There's this also. Oh, this is more of that willowy thing. One-handed, bam. You know what? I'll put my, my rain fly in my tent just in case. But I don't think I'm putting it on tonight. <laughs> your, uh, your portage back. Pardon? You still have putting your portage back at the bottom. That'll be fine. I won't need it. Look at what? You good? Go ahead, yeah. Look at so first off, can you see the the lovely sweat dank? The sweat dank. Turn around. Look at the this, funniest huh? is the outline of the the PFD. The PFD outline. And then also, this is kind of fun. A little bit of contrast. Yeah. Contrast between. You're really pale. Yeah. Lift up your shirt. No, 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 no. Lift no. up your shirt, potato. Oh, what? Am I? Well, look how. Look at. See? You can't really tell the difference, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me touch our belly. Yeah. Okay. So Kyle's decided he's going to. Um, Clean his face a bit, so we're gonna do a little before and after side profile. Do I have some dirt right here? Oh, just a touch there, bud. Is here, here? Yep. Okay. All around. Yeah, I'm gonna put some water in this pot and warm it up. It's uh, well, it's the same pot I drink all of my stuff out of too. <laughs> Yum. We go fish. Yep. Be there in just two seconds. We go fish. Let's do it. Well, just out for a nighttime paddle. It's not too late right now. 6.43. But we've already had first breakfast, first supper. We hung out at that campsite since probably 3 o'clock. So three, almost four hours. Went swimming, did all that stuff. Now it's time to go out and get second supper and have some fun. Paddle around. It's a beauty night. We still got one, two, Two hours and 45 minutes before the sun goes down, roughly. I've got my big old diving wrap on again, a deep diver. Kyle's switched that one too. We've both been slamming them, but he wants to uh, he wants to get a big old pike now. So the wind is whipping through my fishing rod, creating a whistling noise. Anyway, I hope tonight's a nice uh, sunset again. That would be awesome. Feel clean. My hands are feeling better. Tummy's full. Been keeping up on the water real good on this trip, which is awesome. It's really good. I've drank nothing but water for the past five days. It's good for you. Feeling pretty good, jumping in that water. Helped a lot. I was able to fix things up a bit. Tomorrow's day six. We got full day six, full day seven. We'll call them night of day seven. And on the sat phone, we'll call Harlan and arrange to arrange our pickup. Hooked into one, bud. What? Hooked into one. Yeah? Yeah. 
We'll see what she is. Feels substantial. I'm a, I'm guessing a walleye, so it'll probably be a pike. <laughs> oh, he's fighting. Did he let go? Did he let go? Nope. So we're taking it easy. Bringing him in a bit slower. Pardon? You get a good one? I don't know. It feels decent. It's probably just a probably a normal size walleye. Probably. I expect more from you, Joe. You shouldn't. <laughs> if you are, maybe get on this side of me so that it's not all backlit. Let me know if it's anything good first for a Yeah. Bottom. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a nice walleye. Oh, he's gone anyway. He gone. Oh, Joe. Anyway, big old walleye. I'll get back with you maybe if I land one. A decent eater. We'll keep that guy for sure. So this is like world-class fishing, like legitimately world-class fishing. Going out snagging walleye for supper whenever, almost at will, as long as you're on a walleye lake. One thing that has eluded us with the exception of that one that I got is the Lakers. So our plan, our plan this whole time has been to do this loop, since we got here at least. And then um, at the end we, we have one extra day. The loop is not going to take us the, amount, the same amount of time we have days for. So there's a lake right off the pickup lake, which is the same lake we got dropped off on Haven. There's a lake just one portage over. So if we stay on Haven for the last night or even get there early in the day, we can boot on over to, it's called Adventure Lake. We can boot on over to Adventure and try our hand, oops, try our hand at some specific lake trout fishing we know they're stacked up in there at least that's what we've been told and everything else we've been told is is accurate um so anyway yeah hopefully that's the plan hopefully on the last day we'll go into the the lake trout lake and just slay them but either way man <laughs> epic world-class fishing i'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit more and go on back cook supper and then come out and paddle again second walleye on Probably gonna let this guy go so Kyle can catch his own. I don't wanna have too much for dinner. What'd you do, Kyle? I uh, got us uh, dinner, sir. How many? I got this one. Yeah? Yep. Nice. You can eat yours and I will eat mine. Very nice. What'd you get him on? A dimpled silver spoon. No deep diver action. No, I was uh, right, pretty much kind of back where you were. I'm getting better at handling them and doing it safely. I had them, I, I did like you said, I went up and under like the V part and I pinched them there real hard. 
I caught another one, I threw them back because I figured you were going to get your own and I didn't want extra. What? What? I caught another one. Oh yeah. I threw him back because okay. I figured you were going to get your own and I didn't want too much. That's smart. Well, every now and then. It's pretty epic we can be like, let's just go get supper and like half an hour later have it. Exactly. World class fishing. You're world class, Joe. I am. What? I am. All right, now that we're back from getting our food, we've got to move this fire pit next up on the agenda. Are you okay? Oh, I'm tired. Joe made me fire. Hmm. Well, this is, I forgot to do an after shot. Is it any better? It's, yeah. Because I just rewatched the video of me and it looks like I'm like a coal miner or something. No, it's, you're fine. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Thank <laughs> you. We went, uh, Tried to do this ice cool R with this guy I met, and um, we we uh, we went and like the rivers were just impassable, like not happening. You're gonna look kind of like we had been. We tried to bushwhack our way around this mountain essentially, and it wasn't working. We did this for like three hours, and we just. And we get back to town. We're like, man, we're like the most hardcore people here. Look how dirty we are. And then, and then like a bunch of mountaineers came in and all ragged that spent a ton of time up. Hey, you guys bought them a beer. Yeah, that's right. I guess so. See this grass wrapper? It's pink. Oh you... my gosh. No, no. I'm going to show the films. How did you know that story? What? How did you know the end of my story? Well, Kyle, we've spent some time together, bud. It is pink. You weren't joking. It's like a metallic pink. Taking this strap off? <laughs> what, what is this? You don't believe? You don't believe that one? Which way do you, you want the fire opening? Right here. You want to point it towards the chairs? Yep. So why did you put that rock there? I just put... Don't worry about it. Just put rocks where they go. Oh. Man. Rock Nazi over here. Rock Nazi, yeah. Rock Nazi! Rock lobster. Big rock. Nothing. Bamson and Company. Bamson and Bamson. Good job, Kyle. Hey, you know, every now and then I do something right. Mm -hmm. My face still dirty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay. I don't want to look bad for the viewers. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Okay. So, uh, we're picking up some Hawaiian walleye. I don't know if you can notice the pink too, but uh, 
The leftover fruit punch from my bowl. <laughs> yep. It'll, it'll taste just fine. So instead of doing a uh, fish dress, we're doing the Hawaiian punch. Yeah, no. Maybe we'll start a new thing. Yeah, that's pretty pink, dude. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be, Hawaiian. It's good for you. Okay. As much as I believe, Kyle, that it tastes good, I'm going to probably cook my own up. So I'm going to do... He's concerned because I burnt a little bit around the edges. Hang on. Hang on, let me flip this one over. <laughs> oh, see? you're right. Yeah, it's perfect. It's just fine. a little crispy around the edges. It doesn't smell horribly yet. No, no, mm -hmm. see, look. Now it looks good. You just flip over the side I burnt. And it's yeah, fine. and then you get to the pink part. It's not pink. It's cooked. See, look. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. No, the whole... It was never pink. Well, the Hawaiian punch part, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a new sweet. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do mine on my grill. I got the old uh, Robin Hood grill on there. Got some Bam Sun Spices, a whole Joe Robin Hood meal right here. This is the prototype Bam Sun Spice. That's just spicy. Are you coming out with a lion version anytime soon? <laughs> no, that's all you. Okay. Barley Outdoors. Oh yeah, extra pink. My bad. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I can't see it anyway. Look at that. Bam. Sun. Three at a time. Do one without it and see. Leave it on the edge, you know? Leave it on the edge. Pretty nice sky tonight. It's all pink there, as you can see. After I eat up my little morsels, I'm going to get my butt out on that water. Look at the colors. So calm. Oh, wow. Very pink. Oh, man. It's getting better. Better and better. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock now. We missed the pink. We just watched it from here. Didn't get out in time. Still cooking my morsels. Um, so that's okay. We'll not go out tonight. Mm. Good? Yeah, it's okay. The, Got plenty uh, more. The Hawaiian punch really mixes well with the Bam Sun. Really? You think it's... Bam Punch. Hawaiian Bam punch. Sun. Hawaiian Sun. Yeah. It's something. It could work. But well, it's okay. Anyway. Yeah, I think this is it. I'll probably just hang out here for a little bit more. I head to bed. What's up for tomorrow? Is it a big day? Do you know? Do you have, we have to look at the map, eh? You should probably look at the maps. Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out and let you know in the morning. Probably going to end it for tonight here. Unless something else crazy happens. Like, uh, Sam's Squanch sighting. But... Hmm. Anyway, all right. Good day. Day number five in the books. In the books. Awesome day. Tomorrow? Day six. Actually, it's pretty good. You want to try a piece? Yeah. Good morning. Six o'clock. At around four, I woke up and smelled some smoke. I can still smell it, but not half as strong. So I imagine part of the part of the forest is burning right now. Kind of see some of it residually in the air. But a lot of smoke, or sorry, a lot of fog coming off. I can't smell it so strong anymore. Maybe it's just that I'm getting used to it. We'll see when Kyle gets up what he says, but I don't think it's a big deal. If we can see smoke, we're supposed to call Harlan, so we'll see. But beautiful morning, beautiful sunrise.